Hello and welcome to WPL Vic Live. It is Monday night at Kingston Heath and we are ready for the blockbuster match between Sandringham and Box Hill kicking off at 8.30pm and we're brought to you tonight by livecast.com.au. I think with the, the quality of players that they had at such a young age, I, I remember working with some of the girls in, in the sca- state squads where you know there was three or four uh, Sandringham players that would make the state squad. So they've been able to work together over the past you know, five to ten years. So it's really now that they're coming to the Fortitude and being a, a definite force within the WPL. Kutravellis driving forward, trying to slip a through ball to the advantage of the advancing foot it, but out of her line and taking the ball is Kapusta. Yeah, it's quite difficult, I think, from an outsider's perspective. They can only really look at the results, but, you know... We'll stay with play. Exxon crosses to the top of the area. Here's a shooting chance, presenting in the left foot over the bar. That one is sent high from Brush, and it's out for a goal kick. Goal kick taken. It's a shallow one. Now shooting opportunity presents again for Box Hill into the area. Exxon at the right post, and diving at the feet is Kapusta. And that was perhaps a missed opportunity there. Didn't... Steph Catley's off to the Portland Thorns, so she won't be back until late August anyway. Ball down the right, taken by Runnels, running at Barbieri, who tips it away, only to the top of the area, the clearance, and now Tandy with a long shot, and it goes just over the bar. It didn't dip in time. Great attempt, though, from Tandy, and Runnels was thinking about cutting it back, and then the channel opened up, and she decided to go direct a good save by Barbieri. Well, we know that's uh, one of those weapons that Steph Tandy does bring to any team within... Headed down by Richardson though, 1-2 with Brush. Maddie Richardson now advancing down the right, passes, and here goes the opportunity for Exxon into the area. Pettit arrives, trying to volley it out of the air. It just is an up and under, allowed to bounce, and then the referee has paid. Well, we're waiting to see what the decision is. It might have been a shout for a handball. I think we might be going to the penalty spot. So Pettit has been given the spot kick. Kapusta in goal. Here's Pettit, right-footed, low to the bottom right corner. And it is Box Hill 1, Sandringham nil. The keeper's bottom right, Pettich's bottom left. A perfect finish, and Kapusta left standing. So we have a goal really out of nothing out of Harrington. It seemed like a fairly innocuous penalty decision from our vantage point, but there were no arguments from the Sandringham defenders, and they find themselves 1-0 up in the 29th minute. Ball over the top. It's going to bounce favourably for Samet to run onto, but Christy Parton is there, taking possession. And a very ambitious back pass, and sold her keeper could push her into trouble. It's another penalty. She came in and brought down the Box Hill player foot it. And Daniel Anderson, the referee, is not going to produce a card, but a very curious back pass there from Christy Parton, selling the goalkeeper into trouble. And she legged the box. Well, I suspect Pettich must only have one variety of penalty because they've decided to let Ellie Brush take this one. And Kapusta again, preferring to hug what is her left and Brush's right hand post here comes the second penalty of the night Brush shoots it low into the bottom right corner or the keeper's bottom left I got it right that time it is Box Hill 2 both penalties Sandringham nil. we've only played 36 minutes and all of a sudden the home team find themselves in a big big hole yeah absolutely and and getting the ball forward and creating those types of opportunities will will allow I guess will force the other team to, to create those types of mistakes. So unfortunate for Christy Parton there, that under-hit back pass to the goalkeeper, and uh, I think it was Ruby was able to, to get across with that pace up front. So Box Hill certainly have a lot of pace up front, and they're really starting to utilise it now. But on the attack, it's Elena back. Chance now on the right-hand side into the area. Sandringham, high shot, hits the apex, and it's cleared off the line. Backtracking, well defended by Richardson and Walsh to get the ball away, but... Very nearly a goal back for Sandringham. Hitting the woodwork. It's come to Box Hill's rescue. Through ball over the top. Flag stays down. Here's Runnels in one-on-one with Barbieri. Top of the area. Barbieri stood her up and then drags her down. Runnels tries to steer it on goal. Cannot do so. No penalty. It looks as though they're both staying down. Sore as well. That was quite serious. And uh, both sets of players are coming over here. Anna, the referee, keeps the whistle in the mouth. They must have had a handful of each other's shirt there as they dragged each other down. Yeah, I think there, Runnels actually looked shocked. She kept looking. I think she thought she was going to get called offside, um, and then she wasn't and just kept going. So perhaps that was why she was a little bit hesitant to go initially. Tease it up. Now for Brush, who was coming from deep, trying to hit a uh, through pass, but it's been intercepted by Ooh. Ooh, Stephanie Parton, who takes a ball from the face and then keeps running. Brave play. Now Tandy swings it out to the right-hand side. That might be an inspiring moment. Vatsky is five metres from the top right corner of the area. Hits a ball. Volley and great save. Barbieri plucks it out of the air. Turning and shooting there 
was Gladell, but Barbieri awake to the danger and makes a very good stop. Yeah, just like I said, being able to move that ball quickly, so finding... And a home defeat here would leave them in, well, I wouldn't say the uncharacteristic place, given that they did make the, the late run last year, but they would be sixth on the ladder if the score stays this way. Box Hill looking for a third goal. Brush takes possession. Five metres from the top of the area. Pettich takes a touch onto her right foot. Is going to put it out to the right-hand side. Exxon jinks in board and then hits the right sideline. Byline and crossing. And it's in at the near post. And I think it may have been Pettich getting the final touch. There were a couple of Box Hill players. Brush arrived at the back post as well. The bottom line is it's Box Hill 3, Sandringham nil, Anna Harrington. Who do you reckon got the final touch there as three Box Hill players charged in onto Natalie Exxon's cross? Almost four minutes into stoppage time now. Throw in coming from the left. And pass down. Chasing after it in the middle of the park. Parker. Cleared away by Mirbor Into the attacking half of Box Hill. All eyes on the referee as we tick over four minutes of stoppage now. Ball in the centre back position for Sandringham. Stephanie Parton is going to look up. Play it out towards the right hand side. Evans intercepts briefly. Body still crashing in late in this game. Shearing over the ball. And now, Kuro turning, passing, and it's gone through the legs of one Box Hill player. Just hacked back into the centre of the park. Real junk time at the end of this one. Vatsky going on a bit of a run. Runnels takes a touch, turning, 20 metres from the top of the area. Been in a pack of players, closed down by Mirvor, and Richardson comes away with the ball. Caught from behind by Parker, and there's the full-time whistle. All over, a very comprehensive win for Box Hill United. Goals to Pettich, Brush, and Pettich again in the second half. 3-0 at the end of the night. Congratulations on the win, uh, Natalie. Great performance. When you came here tonight to Kingston Heath, were you expecting to walk off with a result like that? Uh, probably not 3-0, I don't think. But um, <laughs> we've had a couple of losses, um, so we wanted to really come back with a, a good win tonight. Uh, and really show what we can do. Tonight, um, the, the goal-scoring woes continue. I mean, I, I see that uh, your team has found the back of the net 20 times this season and, and we've been and seen you twice and haven't seen one. What's different tonight that's that's not been there tonight that was there in the other games? Uh, look, unfortunately, things didn't go our way tonight, um, which is a bit disappointing. I think we were quite unlucky with giving away a few goals in the first half through penalties. So I think that sort of that never helps your confidence and it's always hard to come back from things like that but we did try and unfortunately we couldn't climb back up. Yasmina, for you to start the night with a penalty like that, we were really surprised. No one shouting for handball and no protesting defenders. We didn't have the greatest view. What actually happened there in the penalty area? Um, I think, she, I can't remember much but I think that she uh, uh, got me down by, I think she kicked my legs and then one of them stepped on my head. <laughs> so uh, it was between me and Brushy to take it. So uh, Ellie offered so I thought I'd take it. I don't take them very often but it was good to put it away. And, yeah, just looking at that, what's the best thing to do to, to bounce back? You guys don't concede many goals and obviously a couple of penalties tonight. Do you take it, do you look at it and say, for a lot of the game it was a stalemate and a couple of just a little slip-ups here and there cost us, or do you reevaluate completely? No, absolutely. I think we tend to, if when we do lose, we tend to, it's because we just give poxy goals away, which is pretty unfortunate because I do think that was a tough game and I think we were in the contest, but, yeah, a few cheap goals... Well, Hannah, thanks for joining us. Um, we really appreciated your hard running and uh, <laughs> industry in the middle tonight. But uh, unfortunately, as you said, not the result you wanted. All the best. And uh, as you would know, only four points between first and sixth. So you're sixth now, but not far from the top of the table. Yes. Thanks for joining no us. No worries.